What's going on guys, Spark here, and we're back with my new addiction, Feed the Beast. So, I want to kind of go ahead and explain very quickly what all of this stuff does. All the various mods that are in Feed the Beast, such as Miss Craft, and Build Craft, and Industrial Craft, and Real Craft, and you're starting to notice the theme, I'm guessing. So, anyway, this is my new avatar. I don't think I've recorded a video since I've had him shown but let's get into this so first things first I have quantum gear on aside from this gravity chest plate but I've renamed all of it just because I don't want to lose it it allows me to jump really high to fly and to run really really fast and jump really far also will feed me when I get hungry so anyway, now that we're here looking at my Mistcraft world, let me explain what Mistcraft is. Mistcraft is basically my own personal dimension. There can be bad side effects, but this world's relatively quaint. Aside from the sweet icy mountain tops we have, and these really cool looking trees. I actually don't know what kind of trees these are yet because I haven't punched one down. But you'll just notice this giant glowstone structure and this new block here. So here's what I'm doing. I'm currently working on building a giant silver castle. Now this is just the blueprint for it. It'll be changed later, but I probably won't record a whole lot of that until we get into the actual mod stuff. So until then, uh, let's head back to the real world. So you can see this book goes to Spark's house. What you do is you click on the book, and voila, we teleport to my home. Now this home is in the overworld. It's not a Mistcraft world. It's just a normal world. And you can hear that really loud popping sound. We'll explain that in a minute. Anyway, let's come down here and look at some of the machines. Machines, this is a rotary macerator. When you put a uh, ore block into it, it'll give you two of that ore block. As dust, you can then put the dust into a furnace, or an iron furnace, doesn't really matter which, and it will make ingots out of each individual dust. So you probably see that there's a lot more coming in than what was in this line. We'll explain that in a minute. These are recyclers. They produce this scrap, this brown poop looking stuff. And that scrap gets turned into really cool items later. A uh, compressor just kind of, you have to use it to make blocks of things. And we're going to shut this off for a second. Um, here's the scrap. We see all the scrap coming through. It goes into these scrap boxes, which have a very low chance of giving you something good, like a diamond, an emerald, uh, sapphire, ruby, various dust and things like that. Um, and you probably see these sweet chests. These chests are amazing. Uh, they're very cool looking, and they're crafted by placing a chest in the center, surrounding that by iron, placing the iron chest, surrounding it by gold, placing the gold chest, put diamond, diamond, glass, glass, then diamond chest with glass all the way around it. But we'll go into more of that later because I'm sure I'll have to make some eventually. Uh, this is one of the best items in the game. It's called a matter fabricator. It's very difficult to get. And can be used to give you iridium, which is one of the rarest items in the game, if not the rarest. That stuff sucks to get. So anyway, now that I've kind of given you a little introduction to what's going on in this general area, I mean, I'm not going to go into anything real crazy. All these machines are powered by a nuclear reactor down here that is empty at the moment. We should probably refill that 
if I have I don't have enough near depleted cells so we're going to take eight of these and twelve of these and we're going to go make a whole bunch of near depleted cells which again we'll get into later when I actually have to start developing stuff again when we get into the silver base that'll be when I start my tutorial I kinda wanted to wait a little while just to get the uh, general idea of some of the mods that I haven't played with I've really only played with the mods that I'm familiar with so that'll make things interesting later um... we'll do three there boom boom awesome so what this does for those of you who are familiar with nuclear power will breed three cells for every twelve that I put in as well as produce power which is the benefit to that now you probably see all this purple crap and are wondering what that is well let me explain this popping sound that you're gonna hear if you can hear it is a set of quarries which automatically mine a set area teleporting into my world from various ages in Miscraft. So here is a quarry and we can see it digging out block by block and if I actually cared a little bit more right now I would probably go around doing a whole bunch of other things but that's not iridium. I know it's not. Iridium is very, very rare, like I mentioned. And I don't really care about lead. So anyway, let me fly up here and show you my little setup, because this is unique to me, as far as I know. I've never seen anyone else do this. I have a whole bunch of solar panels that are powering all of these engines or some of the engines. I don't know if it's powering all of them, because I think I messed one up somewhere, but I don't think it's this world. These quarries are pumping all of these items through this pipe. This pipe is telling it to push everything down there, or not to go into any other pipes. And that down here is a Mistcraft portal. It has a book set up to the area where you heard the popping which feeds into an obsidian pipe which will suck up anything that it sees and start bringing it through the pipes and I've got a very elaborate piping system down here with a ton of different sorting devices that's what these diamond looking blocks do they sort and you can see they're kind of differentiating the ores going into the macerator and this one will tell all the valuable materials to go down that way So, now that we've explained that, let's come down here and look at what I have going with the scrap boxes, because we heard this annoying ticking earlier. What this is doing is it is putting all of these into a dispenser, it is firing the dispenser, and that dispenser is leading into an obsidian pipe, which leads into this ender chest. This ender chest is not the same ender chest that we've seen before but it will take items out one at a time and send them through the sorting cycle. And anything that's unsorted will end up here, which right now is coal dust, bauxite dust, slime balls, rubber, and these forest princess bees. Um, as far as basic tutorials go, that's probably it that needs to be stated this is very very brief like I said it'll be something that will start being regularly uploaded and we'll go through all that fun stuff but until that happens and we actually start working on the castle I'm gonna work on getting that done um, I don't think there's a whole lot more that needs to be done 
Um, there's a whole bunch of different new trees, and anybody that's played the mod knows how ridiculous this stuff is to get. But it's very entertaining. I'll try to remember to post a link in the description to feed the beast. Um, but this is on a server. There are other people playing right now. As you saw, someone logged in earlier. Um, which is the first time I've actually played on a Minecraft server. So this is a whole new experience for me, and it's very, very fun. Um, but uh, I think that should be about it for just a brief introduction. I think. Um, anything else I want to talk about? Oh, it might be the ender chest that's putting off that weird particle texture. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I'll give you a tour of our home base. It's getting it redesigned. I'm actually kind of working on the castle to see if I can make it the home base. But we have the railcraft stuff here, the assembly table here, all the various machines that do all sorts of fun things, all the buildcraft machines that do other fun things, this electrolyzer, um, a warehouse to store all of our stuff in, a portal room that goes to various portals, the end, overworld, twilight forest, nether, and a mining world. And then we have various automated farms that, when plugged in, will harvest all of these trees, put them into this chest. This arboretum will take them out. It will harvest all of the sand, put down fertile soil, and cut down trees. Well, the logger will cut down trees. But it will replant saplings and all that other fun jazz. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, it's very fun. All of the all of the mods are very entertaining. It takes a really long time to get anything good going. So if you're just starting out, my advice to you is get a macerator going. Which huh, I didn't talk about NEI. <laughs> NEI is this interface that lets you look up how to make things. Machine block is crafted with refined iron, so get a refined iron going through a furnace. And then macerate or get it into this, set up a macerator, and then start getting your ores going. Uh, as soon as you can get a silk touch or a fortune pick, uh, save your diamonds. You can either macerate diamonds, and that will give you multiple diamonds. Uh, recipe for diamonds. Nope. Gotta look at them. Yeah, there we go. Recipes for diamonds. If you go into a macerator, you'll get two diamonds. So, that's a good thing to get going. So, either if you get either one of the harder to get uh, things, you'll get a excess of diamonds very quickly. And then, just from there, start working on getting the matter fabricator going. That should be the first piece of gear, or the per first item that you build after that. It's the matter fabricator. May have said mass fabricator. Unfortunately, that doesn't exist because of great tech. This thing is very expensive, very intimidating to build, but absolutely 100% worth it. I think you only need like two iridium to build it, or four iridium there and four iridium there, so eight iridium total. Which need to get some quarries going. Quarries are probably after you get your macerator going the next best thing to get. So, I don't know. We'll start over in the silver place. I'll tell you all about all the fun materials that I build, and we'll build everything and get through it, and it'll be a blast. But until then, I'm going to work on getting the uh, materials for the, uh, the castle actually set up and actually work on building the castle, and then we'll start putting all the fun stuff in. So, until then, guys, I will see you later.